you are the elephant in the background is super nice is it is this a trunk up or down can i see down okay cool my mama she she loved the elephants she had rings necklaces mm -hmm. yeah she just loved the elephant a lot me too yes yeah, sweet so um welcome and thank you for joining the patreon page Nikwa. i'm mm -hmm. gonna go ahead and be covering let's cover your google profile okay okay see where you're at and then on top of that we'll go ahead and uh just address any questions that come up from the actual scan here today. So okay. let's go ahead and share my screen with you, Shaniqua. And then we're going to dive into local dominator. All right, let's see if we can find your business easily on here. Okay. What is the name of your Google business profile, Shaniqua? Pearl's Vision, two separate words, P E. I did yours already. I have it here. Pearl's Vision. Let's go ahead and find it. Pearl's vision, Pearl's vision, right here. So I did two. I did tor uh, did two scans for you. Uh, mm -hmm. Two different keywords, very similar, almost identical. So one's photo booth and the other one's photo booth rental. So right here, just looking at this screen, you can see that you did a little bit better for photo booth versus the extra word included here, rental, which is 256. So how does that look? That's going to look a little something like this. So uh, just looking at this here right now, I want to say you are doing a good job with your Google profile according to your proximity and how you're ranking in this entire area. There's a lot of green, which is good. Now, when you want to get better, what we can do is we can zoom in a little bit more. And right in this area right here, there's someone that is getting first place. And it would be nice if we can get you to get ones in this area where we see all these twos. So mm -hmm. my guess right now, just looking at this, Shaniqua, is that there's going to be photo booth businesses out in this area right here that's what this poly tells me so let's go ahead and confirm i'm gonna go ahead and press this here and there it is we have these folks right here a reason okay. to party they are at 16 so if i click on theirs and then go back to our map they just have this little area right here yeah gotcha. but, but you are doing better than them because you're covering more areas and you're more uh ones and this is their map for example so mm -hmm. You're doing a better job than they are. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and go back to Pearl's vision. So they have 16 reviews. You have 10 reviews. So keep those reviews coming because what's going to happen is say, for example, you start getting booked out in this area slowly. Then the reviews from folks leaving reviews from this end will start greening out here in this area. Another gotcha. way you can do it is when you are adding updates to your Google profile, within those updates, you can start targeting cities that are out in this area. Like for example, Highland Creek, mm -hmm. Concord Mills. Um, you know your cities more than I do out there. So uh, right. that's what you want to do. You want to include that within hashtags, titles, mm -hmm. and within the content when you're writing that. Um, gotcha. So let's go ahead and share. I, I, I sent you a copy of this in my right, Shaniqua? Yeah, but it's in my um, yeah. messages. Okay, so let's do this here too. Let's go ahead and take a look at your Google profile. Okay, you are on the correct category. You do have your website. We'll take a look at your website together as well right now in a few moments here. Okay. Let's go to reviews. Has business slowed down a little bit out there? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm starting to get, um. so for me, business was really slow last month. And then just, I want to say, to try to be really accurate, about two weeks ago, calls and emails started to come in. And now people are looking for prices and booking. In fact, I just got a got a voicemail today for a school who's looking to book, but they want me to they want me to provide. Here's the thing. I'll show you really fast here. Whatever. Before we go ahead and book that line, I just want to see if um, requested if you'd all be able to provide a certificate of insurance on W nine. Um, so I just wanted to adopt. So with schools, Shaniqua, they usually want that insurance policy. So right. when you when you start doing events for certain sectors, that's what they're going to want. Have you acquired uh, insurance yet for your business? Yes. You're good to go, right? So that's the Google profile. Let me look at it from outside of the maps. I want to see how it looks from outside of the maps. Okay. And Pearl's vision photo booth. We have you right here. See photos. How much is this the, the printer run you should equal this printer you got right here? Uh it was like four. Are you, are you happy with it? 
it does it hasn't failed us so okay. and it i mean the the pictures look really good on it one thing that i would change this is these are all just suggestions Taniqua. whatever <laughs> i throw at you these are all suggestions and because you're, you're the you're the entrepreneur you're the business owner and you have a certain vision for your business this is always just going to be my point of view right mm -hmm. so for your this is basically your cover photo right google I, I think that if you used a cover photo with people actually interacting with your service, that's mm -hmm. better closer than just having uh, this booth sure. open, right? Because sure. quite, mm -hmm. quite honestly, if me, if I'm being really technical, I'm wondering, uh, was this a home party or is this the, the her her residence? Like, right. I mean, wonder so, but if you have something, for example, like this photo right here alone, that looks like, well, I wonder if, so, so basically when they see a photo and this is, I'll give you a good example. If I see one right here, ah, look at this, something like this here, that's dope because gotcha. they can see the printer. They can see the, um, some of the attendees interacting with your service, with your booth. Right. right? Mm -hmm. So I would say it would be a good idea to use a cover photo where it shows everything in one photo. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Because people copy people. That's why right. it draws a crowd. Right. Yeah. So something like that. Even this photo too. I like this photo because it has a lot of people um, in the photo interacting. So that's dope. And continue loading up photos every mm -hmm. week. Just keep those photos coming. But on top of that, when, uh, when you're posting on your Google profile, then switch over to the add an update or add mm -hmm. an offer. And that's when you want to include certain hashtags and local keywords to target some of those cities in your outskirts of where you're, you're ranking right now using gotcha. that. Okay. That. Yeah, so we'll do that. Let's see here. Website's right there. Okay. Reviews are right there. Let's see. On your website, and we're going to visit your website in a few seconds. On your mm -hmm. website, you have an appointments tab where people can book, right, Shaniqua? Yes. So you can actually add that onto your Google profile right out here. So you mm -hmm. see how the section has address, hours, phone number, and appointments. You do that as well. Um, just to, if, if someone's watching this from a desktop, instead of going to your entire website, um, they can just say like, I, I just want to book now and then just click on your appointments tab there and it takes them to the pricing and bookings page. So okay. that's just like a like shortcut. People like shortcuts. Consumers, they're, we're lazy. So we just want yeah. like, to do things in two clicks and call it a day. Okay. So, uh, also products, even though we're offering a service, we can still cheat the system a little bit and mm -hmm. to help us with the SEO, we can input, we could go to the product section in our Google profile and start a mm -hmm. uh, putting up 360 photo booth and digital photo booth. These are all keywords that under they're under our products tab. So right. do the products, take advantage of the products. It's absolutely free. All you got to do is just put in a few photos and some writing and you can even let chat GPT do some of the writing for you. Gotcha. Yeah. And I'm sure you're using chat GPT already, right? Or are you, are you getting familiar with it? Is that for the user or the names that. So the chat GPT oh. is basically the, the bot that you tell, Hey, write me this. Mm-hmm. And then it writes it for you. And then you just copy and paste. Have you used it yet? I haven't used it yet. No. Oh, let's get you on there. Let's get you to use it. You want me to show you how to use it real quick? Yes, please. Yeah. So let me show you really quick because this is a game changer. This is a, uh, wow. I can't wait till you start using this. So here, let's go ahead and remove this. All right. Um, let's do, let's see. What city are you located in? Charlotte, North Carolina. North Carolina. Okay. What is it asking me to do? It's because I have all these windows in front of my face. I don't know if you can see the windows that I can see, but you mm. know, this I can this see the stuff up top, but that's it. I'm going to minimize this. And I'm going to go and wants me to run an update, but I don't want to do the update right now. So let's see. If it won't allow me to do it here. I'm going to try something else. So what chat GPT is, and it's going to, it's, it's changing the world. Just chat PT, chat, PT, chat. Open eye alone is changing so many things, and it's it's gonna be something that um I'm gonna actually be jumping into a lot more and go dive in a lot deeper. So it says you need a new version will be automatically updated for more users. So here from Chrome, and it wants me to do the remove, but I don't want to remove. I want to update, but it won't let me update. I'll do this instead, and I think it actually would be better. I'm gonna send you a video that I that I found on YouTube that really breaks the, the chat GPT. That way you can get a, at least a foundation for it and you can start using it right away. Because okay. uh, let's say for example, it, it won't show me because I here on my left side is like some of the stuff that I was looking up. So what mm -hmm. I would do is I would say, please write me 
a promotional description for my photo booth business located at uh what city again i have a terrible memory charlotte. charlotte north carolina and also include uh search high high volume search keywords to help my posting rank and then you press enter and then it starts spitting out all of this like paragraphs of your business located and what you offer and it, and it adds uh just puts everything together for you in a few seconds and all you have to do is like i like it i don't like it let me copy and paste copy and paste mm -hmm. and then it, it just so great like it's game changing definitely take advantage of that and i have to update my stuff but as uh as agreed let's go ahead and jump onto your google um and then hit hit up your website all right so that is dope that is on let me go ahead and get my seo minion before I launch the SEO minion, let me just look at it from a human's point of view, okay? So good job on the very top here. Good job because right away, contact us today, the phone number and where you're located, right? So that's awesome. It's like right there. If It's just only a click away. And as I go down, Pearl's Vision Photo Booth. So this title right here is nice. It's a nice title because I feel like this title is probably going to be your H1 when we run the analysis right now. And then right here, you're trying to target both Charlotte and Concord, right? Okay, this is photo booth rental. And if I go to book now, it takes me to pricing and booking. It gives me the read more. It tells me how much it would cost me if I wanted it for two hours. And then I have my description right in here. See exactly what I get for those two hours and what's required. I like this. This is very similar to the same um, template that I'm using. Yeah, so that's dope. Let's go to the main page. Let's go to home. Let's go ahead and do the... CO, analyze the page. The H1 right here, Shaniqua, we have ProVision, Photo Booth 360, Photo Booth. So it, it's a lot of keywords crammed into one big one. Mm -hmm. And that, that's the way it's going to pick it up. Uh, the good news is that it does have the word Photo Booth in here and Mirror Photo Booth as well. One thing that I learned through uh, Google Keywords is that Photo Booth separately yeah. gets more searches than Photo Booth uh, together like this and then your h2 360 photo booth rental charlotte that's pretty strategic i don't know how the algorithm would pick these up together like this though uh, and i know you're trying to rank for two locations mm -hmm. so this is uh i would say because i can't because i haven't done this before i don't know mm -hmm. how well it would do just because it, it it it's like combining two long keywords so this basically at the end of the day it reads it as a long tail keyword, like all this put together. So if I grab this, my copy, and then I go over to Google and I press enter, this is what it this is what it pops up because this is how I would read it with these keywords right here. So mm -hmm. we do have blast experience in uh North Carolina, Charlotte right here. So mm -hmm. they're ranking for those words. There's a few more websites. There's another one right here. I think that's me. This right here? Yeah, because I got two domains. I have that one. Yeah, yep. yeah, and then Pearl's this Vision. Is, this is really, this is really smart. What you did right here, because you use three hundred and sixty photo booth Charlotte as your actual domain, and a lot of folks don't know this, but this right here is a huge advantage. The way your index and the way you pick up for these words right here for this keyword, mm -hmm. it's your actual domain, and your trend over the twelve months has been growing. So more people are actually going to your website given those keywords. Good job on that, right? And then as far as funneling people to your website, on your website, we'll go ahead and go back to your website. You know, you made it pretty easy to show people this is how much I charge. This is where I'm located. And this is what's included within the description. Astro Mirror Photo Booth Rental. Also, that's the, about the Astro that I haven't seen that too much, but Mirror Photo Booth Rental for sure is a, is a solid keyword out there as well that you have as an H2. One thing I wanted to take a quick glimpse at is if you share your screen with me, Shaniqua, let me go ahead and get that going. If you share your screen with me, can you please access your Google profile? Mm -hmm. Do I need to? Oh, never mind. I see it. Oh, wait. I need to open my preferences to let me share my screen. Help if I remember that password. How do I do touch ID? If you have a hard time accessing your Google profile, I'll share my screen and I'll share mine as an example. And then later on, uh, you can see what you want to look for. And, and I'm also recording this so I can send this to you as well. Shanika. Okay. Yeah. It says um, if I try to do what I'm doing now, it says it may not, it may cancel this call to do it. 
to share your uh, screen? It says you can choose to quit Zoom now or do it on your own later. So right now my choices are later or quit and reopen. Let's do the one that doesn't quit right away. Gotcha. Let's try that. So I did that. There you go. You can see me? Yeah. I can see your screen. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Go to Pearl's okay. Vision. Google profile, my bad. No, you, you were at the right place. All right, sweet. Let's go ahead and click the tab right there that says performance, please. Performance? Mm -hmm. Right there, a little lower to the right. Performance. Oh, there we go. Now let's scroll down a little bit. Continue scrolling down. Boom, right there. Those are your top five keywords right there. Those keywords are bringing that amount of traffic to your website, to your Google profile. So the word yeah. 60 photo booth is the it's the hot one that's the one that has brought the most traffic as you can see 133 searches and then the second one of course will be photo booth and then photo booth rental Th okay. those, are, those are the ones bring, that are actually bringing in mostly so what you want to do is for these and you can always go to see more right mm -hmm. but in the meantime what you want to do is you want to rank for your top five first so what you could do is every single time you you post on your social media profiles, you want to make sure that you are putting hashtag and one, two, three, four, five, include all of these keywords within your post. And then you can have like a little notepad on your phone so that mm -hmm. every time you post, you're making sure you're using these words within every post that you make so that you can get more and more traffic for these keywords right here. And that's one through five. Those are the top ones. Actually, one and three, those are the ones bringing in the actual real traffic, but it doesn't right. have to start ranking for 360 photo booth, Charlotte, North Carolina. Now let's hit the X there on the top, on the top right. And then let's go to uh, edit services really quick. I want to check something out. Edit services. Yeah. Your primary category is photo booth, print photos, graduation. All right, let's go. Uh, let's see. Services were changed based on the feedback from Google users or other sources. Review these published updates to make sure they are accurate. All right, cool. So what is what it's telling you is that people are finding your Google profile using certain other keywords, right? And that's the good thing because it's telling you what people are looking for and how they're coming across your page. So for mm -hmm. example, review these published updates to make sure they are accurate. So then the current is photo booth rental and print photos. So you would say, yeah, I wanna update it to make it more relevant. And then you just hit the okay on the top right. So your edits are going to be uh, pending. So, okay, that's good. Now let's hit the X for now on the very top right there. Okay. And then the next thing we can even check out is if we go to edit products, this is a tab right here where you want to take some time today or sometime this week or make it a priority to start okay. listing um, your different types of mirror booths that you have, your 360 right. booth. And then within the description and title, we want to focus on those keywords that are bringing in that traffic and also start targeting some of those cities where you come mm -hmm. in second, third place. Now let's go hit the X again. You know, and then let's go to add update. Which one? Add update, update. right there. So on here, you want to come in here weekly, minimum weekly and add offers and updates. If you don't have too many offers going on, that's okay. As, link, as If you go to update for me really quick there, go to add update uh, and click on there. And then for the add the description, you have about 1500 characters. And this area right here, Shaniqua, is where we want to have a summary or an offer or a description to really promote our services and also include those keywords and also include those cities where we're not coming in first place yet. So mm -hmm. that Google picks it up and says, okay, there's relevancy here. There's this location. There's a city plus this service. Let, let us direct more traffic towards this Google profile because it seems like they're servicing this city as well. On top of that, you can start adding photos too. You can add one, two, three, four photos. Even two photos will be perfect. And then when you go to the left side, where it says add a button, right? On the add a button, you can do um, you can do call now or book. It, it's up to mm -hmm. you. I like going to call now uh, because people that press the button call now and actually call you, uh, those are serious inquiries. Those are people that, are, that really want to know whether you're within uh, their budget or if you are even available, you know, so... It's basically it filters from people who are just browsing to actually people who are ready to book. So I usually like to call now. Okay. So you can do that one, or you can go to book, which then will take them to your website, so they can do a little more exploring on their own. So each one's fine. The point here is that 
you give Google profile more attention and you're more actively using it and posting on there on a weekly basis. I think a goal for this month for you would be to let's see how much time we have left. We have for this month, we have like another almost two weeks, like a week and a half, right? Just about. Um, do you have any events lined up for the rest of the month? Yes, I have one on the 27th. Beautiful. Okay. On that event, let's see if we can break a record and you can get five reviews on that event. Now, how do you plan on getting those five reviews? Usually we only ever send the reviews to the host, whoever booked us. I've never, I guess, thought about sending reviews to other guests that are there. Okay. Go ahead and stop sharing your screen uh, with me. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You're just going to scroll down okay. and, and stop sharing. There'll be a little tab that says stop sharing. Oh, did I hit it? No, not yet. Oh, there we go. I see it. Yeah. The thing is, Shaniqua, is you're going to these events and you're providing smiles and laughter. You're providing a good time. So if you can print out a QR code that takes them directly to your Google profile so they can leave that review, it's going to take them probably less than 10 seconds to do that for you. And because at that moment, you are creating that connection with them, they're going to be more than ha happy to help you. Now, if say, for example, you kept it at your pace where you're just asking your person who actually paid you and booked you for an event, I want to say it's close to like a 70-30. 70 30%, 70 they'll do it, 30% they right. won't, right? But what happens when you increase that number and it's 100%, you're going to get reviews no matter what for any event because now you're asking everyone at the event. Right. How I was able to boost my reviews past 100 reviews Mm -hmm. And and I want to say less than a year, about a year, actually. And that has helped me dominate my area a lot more because Google sees like that person left a review, that person and they on their phone, they have like an IP address. So they'll see like where that person resides and where the review came from as well. Mm -hmm. So make that uh, your mission, the upcoming mission with on the 27th, you said? Yep. Yeah, do that. And, and please, like that's probably like one of the most important pieces is Really, really tackle that. Get, get those reviews on the 27th. And sometimes you'll, you'll feel like you're at a crowd where it's like they don't seem so open and down to earth. Wait till they loosen up a little bit. Is, yeah. Yeah. And then when they start vibing, then be like, hey, I'm a small business owner. I'm really trying to, or you can, I, this is the one that I use just this past event. I said, guys, I'm trying to win a competition. Can you please help me with the five-star review? <laughs> they don't know if I'm an employee and they don't know like how many people are competing and so right. they, and people like, they're like, yeah, no, we want you to win. Here's right. the five-star review. Right. You use that one, Shaniqua. That one's for me to use. Gotcha. It's just telling like you're, you're competing and you want to get the most reviews. And if you can get three to five reviews for that event, now you're getting closer to that person, that other competitor who has 16 reviews. And yeah. And you can do that in one event. Now imagine what you can do the upcoming month if you have two to three to four events. You're going to kill it. Right. And then just continue showing your Google profile some love um, little by little. Your website doesn't really need too much work. It's about you, how you want to like, uh, if you wanted to change anything, you already know what you want it to look like as far mm -hmm. as how the algorithm picks it up. It's right. pretty, pretty solid. You have the right keywords in there. You have the booking process quite easy to contact you. You've made it very easy for them too. I think what really needs work right now is just your Google profile and that's the lead generator right there and it's free too. Yes. That's really, I think what I feel like we've been struggling with the most, at least, is the leads, the lead generators. Like most of our business right now is from events we did, people like, oh yeah, I want to book you for this. Well, with that being said, if people at the event are interested and you get actually hot leads from the event that actually manifest into an actual booking. Now, imagine if three to five people leave you their testimony on your Google profile then their testimony is going to attract other people who are actually looking for your service to complete strangers. However, there's a person that went on her Google profile and left her a five-star review and maybe one sentence to show mm -hmm. us like, yeah, this uh, person's a professional. This is an existing business and they're relevant. They got a review just a week ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's okay. why I like Google uh, reviews because it just adds that much more value and gives you that much credibility that'll reside in your Google profile for the years to come. And then the more reviews are more relevant. And like I said, Google will reward you by giving right. you a higher position for certain keywords. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very cool. Shaniko, before we get off, do you have a, a, do you have a question for me? No, most of my questions were the Google page. I wasn't sure what we would be talking about, but that was most of the questions. So what, did I have the right words in? Was it pulling that kind of 
I'll go back to my website and kind of change up some words.